Well, to help those workers, President Donald Trump approved the largest stimulus bill in history. The $2.2 trillion package aims to help boost the economy during this pandemic. 41 Action reporter Nick Starling breaks down how the stimulus package impacts you and local businesses. It's just devastating when you go to work one day, everything's fine, and the next day they're like, sorry about it. Kimberly Newby Dorsey finds herself unemployed after being laid off due to the coronavirus. Now she's crunching the numbers on how she'll get by. I have it all listed of what is owed with gas, electric. Now because of the stimulus bill, Kimberly breathes a sigh of relief. Once it got passed, I was just like, thank you, like, thank you, like, this is that, like, it was almost like, like literally 100% weight lifted. She has a husband and three children, so it's estimated her family will receive $3,900 because as a married couple, they'll get $2,400 plus $500 per child. That will come out of an estimated $560 billion set aside for payments. The bill also provides an additional $377 billion to help out small businesses as they can apply for loans because many had to close down due to the coronavirus. It's eerily quiet in here for sure. In normally Sean Wilson's busiest month, it's silent as kids aren't here playing ball at Teamwork Sports in Waldo as they're forced to end its season early. Rental by the hour, rental by the half hour, and uh, for the most part, all of that revenue's you know dried up for the next foreseeable future. It's helped their welcoming in these uncertain times. We have a rent payment and we have, um, you know, our, we have to make a payroll decision here in a couple of weeks. My plan is just to use the money that I get and uh, pay all my utilities. And if there's, you know, enough left over, be able to have a birthday party at home, like an old traditional way for my kids. Nick Starling reporting for us.